as long as I'm listening to that little voice, which can be really complicated sometimes and not so clear, but that to me feels successful and always leads me in the right path. I think really leaning into the role of wanting to empower women and letting that be my guiding light. So yeah, even on the days when I don't feel like I'm being that productive, it's been great to find a sense of like success and fulfillment in the relationships that I've been able to build. I had graduated from school with a degree in international affairs and was certain that I wanted to be a diplomat. I started down that path and it just didn't feel totally right. It was like really hard to put my finger on why. I didn't, I like slowly and slowly like felt less and less like me. And then I one day decided to become a yoga teacher. And it, it was nothing I'd ever thought of or considered for myself. Once I became certified, I looked at myself and my life and I realized, you know, like I had this draining half of my day, and then this really invigorating half. And it seemed, it seemed silly that I would be spending so much of my life doing something that was draining. So I decided to take the leap and just quit and go all into yoga. And that's when everything kind of started to snowball. So as a young, new yoga teacher living in a city, I was in Washington, D.C., there were lots of bills to pay. <laughs> and um, just the yoga industry in general is like a studio teacher. You don't, that's not really how you get by. So just maneuvering that was interesting and decided to start a yoga social events company. And this was before yoga was cool, like right before yoga was cool where it was still crunchy and hippie and people were like, what's yoga? Like I would tell people I'm a yoga teacher and, and people would ask, what is, what's that? I mean, we had this idea to pair yoga with a wine tasting because I was, I was bartending on the side to make things work and everyone loved it. It was sold out. There was a line out the door. Me and my business partner looked at each other and we go, we're either in or we're out. You know, we're either all in or we can't do this like dabbling or I'm bartending, I'm managing a studio, I'm teaching classes and you know, exhausted. And it's like, we're, if, we're, if we're gonna tell Food Network Magazine we're having an event, you know, we're going in. And it was such a beautiful journey. We had like 200 people and just started building this really wonderful community. It was really incredible to look back on because I realized that I had built this company that was like everything that I was craving in my life. The connection to self with yoga, but more importantly, the connection to community. Between Washington DC and here, I've lived in a f quite a few places. I've lived in LA, I've lived in London, and I've lived in Bali, Indonesia. But just with the pandemic, it felt like it was time to come home and be closer to pa my parents, which I haven't done since I was 17 and in high school. I just listened to that, that little voice because in the past, whenever I listened to it, I like, you know, <laughs> A++ experience. And I came to Sarasota in the middle of the pandemic and it was terrifying. You know, like didn't know anyone, couldn't see anyone because we're, that was back in the day when we, everything was closed. I couldn't even see my parents for two weeks. But in kind of that solitude, I was able to finally get the courage to build another venture. For the last few years, I've been dreaming about and talking about this subscription box that I wanted to make. And it was going to be called Bitch Box. <laughs> and the idea of Bitch Box was that it would empower women by educating us about our menstrual cycles because I'm so passionate about not just people and community, but really specifically people with wombs, helping to lift each other up in a world that you know doesn't really support the natural cadence of, of a woman or someone with a womb. I talked to my, one of my girlfriends 
who um, has a subscription box herself and she loved the idea. And so we decided to do it together, which is really, I think, what I needed to have the confidence and courage to just do it, to like come out with a product when I've never considered a product-based business before. So we ditched the idea of Bitch Box, even though I still love the name. And it's called Gaia Box. And Gaia is Earth Goddess. So um, yeah, we've come out with our first box. I hate to say fake it till you make it. Like, I think there's value to that, but I also don't totally buy in. But for example, when I first became a yoga teacher and I quit my day job, you know, I had just gotten certified. <laughs> I have never really run an event before and I guess trusting that what I had was enough was the biggest challenge but also paid off the fastest because then you know first event was 50 people and next event was like hundreds of people and and I wouldn't have been able to do that had I not you know just trusted that I was enough I think that's a really common theme that I see with women too not just in career, but in all aspects of life. So it's funny, like I was able to find that like in just enough time for things to take off with Grip the Mat. But I've also, you know, had to confront that within myself and my personal life um, over and over, right? It's never, it's not like a one and done, like, oh, you know, I, I did great once, so I believe I'm great. <laughs> every day right it's like I wake up I'm like what do I have to what do I have to offer these people and now I'm seven months pregnant and I am jumping into prenatal yoga teaching and I still have that same question you know what do I have to offer these moms and yeah so it's funny it's like on one hand I found so much success in listening to that little voice within but there's like this other little voice <laughs> that could very easily be the good one. You know, it's hard to know sometimes which one to listen to and trust, but just believing that I'm enough right now, I think has been the biggest challenge, but also has paid off the most.